Hello and welcome to Wheel Thing TV. I'm Dave Canole. This week we're checking out the 2018 Subaru XV. This is the S Spec. Subaru XV, yes, this is the rear end. As you can see, it's got the now uh, traditional C type rear lights on it. Very clean, nice little funky colour they've come up with for the XV range for 2018 as well. Uh, complete with the plastic cladding. 18 inch wheels on the S. As we move around to the front, more of the uh, Impreza style headlights that they've got now with the LED lights in here and of course the globe lit driving lights as well and a slightly more bluff and up front looking uh, front end on the XV or of course effectively the Impreza hatch. The dash on the Subaru XVS, nice and clean as you'd expect from any Subaru car nowadays. Plenty of information available via the tabs just on the bottom left of the steering wheel there. Tire pressures, uh, kilometrage, all those kind of things. And up here you've also got the information available via the info tab on the steering wheel. As you can see, nice and clean, easy to read and very simple to access as well. Touch screen that we've got on here is easy look it's all Subaru it's all nice and simple it's what we like only issue in regards to these is that they feel plastically tabby they just click they don't press in and have any nice sort of feel to them air conditioning climate control uh, hill descent control the cross mode which locks the diff heated seats no venting for the leather which is this beautiful gray and black in the XVS in this case you can see the vents just in there but no ventilation madness for an Australian spec car quite a gap between the tyre and the top of the wheel arch here and the rear end on these does ride softer than what I'd anticipate. The front end's nice and tight, nicely tied down but here there's a lot of compression that we get even with a, a little bit of a load and actually hit the bump stops just that little bit easier. More controls for the XV and in this case uh, swiveling headlights. How cool. Considering a price of around $35,000 is an amazing amount of kit. The only thing is it really does need to be a little bit better tied down in the rear. And 10.4 seconds to 100 kilometers, well, it's certainly not a sports car, but it was never intended to be. For more information, head to Subaru.com.au. For a Wheel Thing TV, I'm Dave Canole.